Hello, and welcome to my channel, Psycho's Diversions. I am Psycho, and I hope I am a wonderful diversion for you this evening. This afternoon, we're playing Oblivion again. This is going to be episode 3, and we are <laughs> laughably still in the tutorial. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, we're at our, uh, our door here from our um, goblin adventure. Um, so it's either going to be rats, goblins, or zombies. We've, like, established that at this point, right? So, like, if I hop out of here, we're actually going to save. If I hop out of here, it's going to be one of them. <gasps> I hear those guys. Oh, I'm not helping. No. Good going, guys. I think that was all of them. Let me take a look around. Have you seen the prisoner? Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Kill him! He might be working with the assassins. How could I be working no, with the... he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. I don't understand As how I could work with them. Come closer. I'd prefer not to have to shout. Oh, okay. I mean, you almost murdered me. They cannot me. understand Ugh. why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Uh, the Nine guide and protect us. The Nine are the... There are Nine gods, by the way. Um, I'm not on good terms with the gods. I don't know. I don't think... I like that. I don't know. I I've don't served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. <gasps> oh, I get to pick my sign. Okay. The Apprentice ability confers a 100-point bonus to your Magicka attribute, but gives a 100% weakness to Magicka. Okay, we, we don't want that. Uh, the Lady, 10 points to your Willpower and Endurance. Uh, mage, confers permanent bonus of 50 points of Magic. Thief, the ability grants 10-point bonus to Agility, Speed, and Luck. Uh, you don't regain magic over time. Instead, you have a 50% spell absorption. I'd, I don't like that. We might do that some other time, but that's interesting. Uh, regenerates up to 90 points of health. However, you also gain the Trollkin Curse, a permanent 25% weakness to fire. So now, lesser powers are neat, because they can be used more than one time a day. Uh, so that might be okay, except for the fact that I think a lot of things use fire. Uh, once a day to paralyze an opponent. Eh. Uh, powerful restore health spell. Um, slow but potent poison on touch while simultaneously cursing yourself and dispelling magic on your... or curing yourself and dispelling magic on yourself. Casting this spell cost 100 points of fatigue. Um, the shadow... Use the moon shadow power once a day to become invisible. Uh, 20 bonus to speed tower. You can unlock an average lock per day. Um... The warrior grants a bonus point to strength and endurance. So, um, poison is an interesting option because we've seen that it works really, really well. So, this is fun. We're just going to look up how many points of damage it does real quick. 
Uh, it says damage health 3 points for 20 seconds, 60 points total on touch. Cure poison on self, dispel 90 points on self, damage fatigue 100 points on self. Okay, that's interesting. So I think we're going to go with the lady. So um, she gives us a 10 point bonus to willpower and endurance. Um, the more points in endurance you have, the more health you have. The more points in willpower you have, the higher your mana regeneration. And I feel like that can be really helpful. I feel like I'm going to be upset that I'm missing out on the serpent because it sounds like it's a really good right here in the beginning when I need something to affect the base health of, of enemies. Um, but I think throughout the game, this will be more proficient. Uh, yes, I do. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today, the lady shall fortify you in your quest for glory. Can you see my fate? Aren't you afraid to die? I'm more interested in this one here. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Uh, oh, I get to ask him if he's afraid to die. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Okay. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay. So, well, we're gonna loot these dead guys. Uh, I've, I've gotta have all their fancy You nice... may as well make yourself oh. useful. Here, oh. carry this torch and stick close. Um... We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. Okay. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Uh-huh. Stick close and let us That was weird. He, He'll um, right. talked to me through that pillar. This guy has great abs, though. Check that out. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, here's this one. I am so not carrying that torch, by the way. Um, weak potion of sorcery, why not? I mean, I am carrying the torch, I'm just not gonna light this place up for- Hello! Uh, lockpicks, arrows, don't mind if I do. I <gasps> Uh, yeah, y'all protect the emperor. I'm, I'm just gonna hang out up here. The emperor needs help. Oh no, whatever will I do to help you? I'm just gonna come in here and, oh, they had, oh, I'm gonna have to drop stuff. All right, uh, long sword, steel short sword, all the roses. I'm not sure I need that ale. I don't. I'm gonna leave the beer behind. Um, I don't have a whole lot of other, like, random, get rid of that torch. Perfect. I guess I gotta stop picking up their clothes, even though I love them. Uh, I don't want to protect the Emperor. I wanna, I wanna hide behind y'all, like, scared little bitches. Just, actually, I should probably save in case I do die from this. <laughs> this is going 
could be like the most boring episode out of all my episodes, I think. Like here I am not having to fight nothing myself. I'm just following the, the good guys around. My sneak skill increased because I guess I'm following these guys. Is there anything? Oh. Well, why, yes I will. If I, I don't mind if I do there. Okay. We're going to... We're going to stay crouched. And we're going to save. Doors scare me in this game because there's always bad Hold stuff up. behind them. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Okay, you take a look. I'm just going to hang out up here where it's safe. Way behind the apparently uh, future site. Knows he's going to die, Emperor. What's... Where are they? Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. Okay, so apparently, um, the gate was locked, so uh, we're not escaping that way. Oh look, a tiny little bitch hiding spot. Oh, I love it. I don't know. I don't see any good options here. I'm going to assume I actually have to go down there to progress this part of the story. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. That power's used up. That's not good. Oh, wait. Why is my health so low? Okay, one second. I didn't even realize my health was so low. Oh, right. It's because I took that birth sign and now I've got way more health and forgot that I had way more health. And my mana should regenerate super fast because of all the extra health. So we'll just give it a few seconds to go up. Because I feel like the second I walk in there, we're going to get attacked. Like, I just know we are. We're going to get attacked and murdered. It's going to be horrible. Okay, come on, mana. Let's go. That should be good enough. Okay. They're behind us! Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Okay. For the Emperor! Emperor! See, like, I totally knew it. I'm just, I'm just gonna come over here and hide in this dark little alcove. This one's mine. Protect him with my life. I don't even know this guy. Oh. There's... Apparently stuff going on out there. Like, fighting... I hope none of them come in this room because I'm not helping the Emperor. Um, wait, is it waiting on me to do something? I can go no oh, further. Oh, it was. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. What? He must not have the Amulet of Kings. What? Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Look, I didn't have to fight this. He had sandals. Look, I didn't have to fight that guy myself. That's great. Can I loot you? We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Yeah, that's... You checked his body? Because I tried and it wouldn't let me. But yeah, that's got to be like a huge, like, black mark on someone's resume. Uh, yeah, he gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Uh, I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? 
there is another hare. Nothing I ever heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Okay. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. Ugh. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced witch hunter. Am I right? No. No. Oh. You now must choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You'll increase your level by raising these major skills. So that's where this comes in. So I actually... Oh, this is... This is bad. I should not have... Uh, I should have checked my skills. I really should have. Um... So he says I'm a witch hunter. Let's see what we got here. Intelligence, agility... I don't actually know... Uh, destruction, marksman, security, conjuration, athletics, mysticism, alchemy... Uh, maybe not... Uh, let's see here. A knight blade... Destruction, alteration, blade, athletics, restoration, light armor, acrobatics. I don't really like that either. What do we got here? Sorcerer, uh, intelligence and endurance. Wait. Uh, destruction, alteration, heavy armor. Yes. Conjuration, restoration, mysticism, alchemy. Um... Everything but blade. So blade's what I'm... Well, to be fair, I don't really do a whole lot of damage with it, do I? Um... Intelligence and endurance. You know what? I think this is going to be the one for us. We're going we're gonna to be a sorcerer. Done. Are you sure you want to be a sorcerer? Yes, I'm almost perfectly built to be one. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. All right, after the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Uh, yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the blades. Fucker took my blade. A Dunbarrow cut. Oh, that's okay. Continue. It's gonna start giving me the side quest. To oh, look at all these. Okay, look at all of these body. Oh, hello. You had gold on you. Uh, did none of the... Wow, there are so many bodies in here. Um... Do none of them had any potions? So I could really use some potions. Okay, I guess not. Um... So I already checked that guy. So, I guess let's... I guess I was glad I kept this long sword. Um... And then, since I used that other... Yeah, I learned some other magic. Okay, that's pretty cool. What all do I got here? Uh, turn Undead, Summon Skeleton, uh, Shocking Touch, 10 points of damage, Open Easy Lock, um, Protect, Shield 5% for 30 seconds, uh, Minor Life Detect, that one will be neat. Uh, minor Dispel. Uh, minor Heal Wounds. I've already had that. Uh, cold Touch. And Absorb Health. Ooh, that one might be really helpful too. So, let's see here. Um, absorb Health. Let's make that number 5. Oh, I gotta actually... Okay. I'm being dumb again. Uh, cold Touch. 
uh, Shocking Touch 14, 22, 10, 6 points, 15 points. See, this one does a lot of damage. I think we're going to make that number 4. Um, minor Life Detect can be number 6. Yeah. Um, shocking Touch can be 7. And Summon Skeleton can be 8. Summon Skeleton is probably going to be one I don't use a whole lot. So let's stop and let's do a little quick save and let's scroll through these. Healing, uh, that's my shield that I can't use right now. My frost touch, that is life drain, that is detect. So if I do this, I can now, okay, so living people glow, that's good. Um, that's, that's the shocking touch, let me use that. Okay, and this is the Summon the Skeleton. Oh, now that's pretty cool. Okay. And then number four is the Cold Touch. Okay. It looks like the Summon Skeleton doesn't hang around for a long time. Oh, but I bet he's got a lot of health. Oh, I didn't think about that. We might change that up then. So, Summon Skeleton, I think, is going to be my new number two slot here. And my Cold Touch is going to be... We'll leave it... Oh, we're going to make it number three. And my Flare number four. We'll leave that where it is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, anything in here? I'm assuming there are no bad guys through the rest of this little part here. There aren't. Okay. What do we got here? A very easy... Hey, I got something for that. Dinna? Did I actually put it on here on my little wheel, though? I didn't. Uh, but I remember seeing it. Yeah. Unlocked. Look at that. Magical abilities already paying for themselves. Alright. So let's crouch and go on through. Oh. I guess we can actually, like, uh, save here. We're gonna, we're gonna go down in here. Oh, it's still giving me all of these. <sighs> it's giving me all of the DLC stuff, like, right now. There is... So if I use that... I don't actually see anything. I'm gonna save real quick. I don't actually see anything in here. Oh. Okay. Um, here's a question. Now that I have a class and I'm a little stronger, that's actually a really good question. Not there. Here, here? So did I progress to next level? So I'm still level 1. I don't have... So my intelligence is 55, my willpower is 60, and my endurance is 45. Okay. But intelligence should increase um, the strength of my spells, right? Affects your total magic and magic use, governs skills, alchemy, conjuration, and mysticism. Uh, affects how quickly you regenerate magicka and how much fatigue you have. Governs the skills, destruction, alteration, and restoration. Okay. Endurance, your health, and how much health you will increase when you sleep and raise levels. Okay, so I don't get 
a level up until I go take a nap, apparently. Not that I... I've had 30 skill increases just during this. Um... Okay. So, I guess I don't... I only have 90 health. So, I guess... I... Need to finish filling this up by raising these. My major skills. Okay. So, I don't know... Is that guy gonna walk over this direction, or... Oh, he's like down there with a rat. This is gonna end badly. But you know what? YOLO. YOLO. Oh no, I knew it. I knew it. It's ending badly. It's ending badly. <laughs> okay. Alright, so the spell, though, did a lot of damage to... Oops, not that one, this one. Did a lot of damage to that guy. The problem is, is that... So, like, if I come out here... Do you, did you see me? Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay. Okay, so it's rough, but I can handle a goblin now, <laughs> but only with magic and a shield. I'm going to assume that um, my uh, advanced um, health is partially at work here. So let's set this rat on fire. Come on. I actually think the rat does more damage to me than uh, the goblin did. What the heck is that about? Okay, let's heal up real quick. So that's good. Um, we're gonna be sneaky for a minute. Oh, look. Can I just get your... I bet you're gonna be a tough tough jerk. Do you see me? Like, he just set you on fire a couple times. Getting myself a class was the way to go. Um, still, I don't think I'm uh, ready to take on any goblins. Like, multiple goblins? Ooh. Like, any multiple goblins? Like, if I had to fight two at once, I'm not sure that would go very well. I feel like that would be uh, bad time bears. Um... Let's see. I'm feeling good though. I can I can kill goblins in like a head to head. Like I didn't even have to run. Like that's amazing. I see a rat in there. A cheese wheel? What am I gonna do with whole cheese? Oh lord. I'm over encumbered. Um, I'm gonna eat like a whole cheese wheel. Wow, I gained a lot of health from that. What else can I drop, though? Let's let's arrange everything by what weighs the most. Uh, I've got... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe I don't need that many of those. <laughs> um... Do I drop them all when I do that? No. So let's keep... Five of them for now? Right? Like, that sounds good. Oops. Now I can move again. What's in here? Chest, lockpick, arrows. Um, flower? 
Um, okay. Look, it's a rat. We're just gonna run in here and get it. Yeah, for some reason the rats do way more damage than the goblins. I don't actually understand that. But look how far down my health is after fighting... Because I healed myself after I fought that goblin, right? Didn't I? Oh, perfect. Here we go. Oh, let's... Let's crash back down real quick. Oh, just one. I'm good. Alright. Nothing in this room? Perfect. Uh, gate is sealed. And, hey, this looks like the exit. We made it to the exit. Gate to the City Isles. Alright. Well, guys. I finished the tutorial. I am surprised even for myself. We got a birth sign. We got our class, which means we can gain level ups now. And I'm not just gaining skills for no reason. And... We are going to go out and explore the world on this next episode. I am so excited. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This has been Psycho with Psycho's Diversions, and I hope y'all had a wonderful time. Bye-bye. <laughs>